Trust me, Hansel and Gretel are sweet. The story of Hansel and Gretel, as told by the witch. Yes, I'm the witch from Hansel and Gretel's story. And yes, I live in a house made of gingerbread. But I most certainly did not tumble into the flames of my own oven. I mean, look at me. I'm alive. And never would I think of eating Hansel and Gretel. It's time I set the record straight. Gather around, but please, no nibbling on the house. I always knew I was different. While the other little witches were learning to make potions and cast spells, I was playing with my food. I molded mashed potatoes into polar bears. I wove noodles into wall hangings. As I grew up, my projects got bigger and better. I was a food artist. I made beds out of marshmallows and floors out of the rock candy. Eventually, I built my own cottage, my masterpiece. A dry spell kept the rain off my house, but I couldn't cast a spell strong enough to keep the birds away. So I got a pile of children's clothes from lost and found boxes and put up scarecrows. I suppose that's what started the rumor that I ate children. The scarecrows did the trick, except for one crow who wasn't the least bit scared. I call him Thorn. Every day, I had to patch the messes he'd make. It was an ongoing battle. Not long ago, I was in back doing touch-up work when I heard children's voices. A shutter snapped. A window shattered. Little hooligans were eating my house. I ran around to the front. Stop that this instant, I yelled. This is private property. The children, a boy and a girl, stared at me in horror. We're sorry, said the girl, but we're so hungry. Please don't eat us, the boy, boy begged. I could see that the children weren't doing well, so I invited them into something to eat. Their names were Hansel and Gretel. Between bites, they told me quite a story. Our stepmother wanted to get rid of us, Gretel said. She said there wasn't enough food for us, but she just wanted it all for herself. She made that leave us in the forest twice. She was hoping we'd get lost, said Hansel. The first time we made a trail with white pebbles and followed it back home. The next time we made a trail with breadcrumbs, Gretel continued, but let me guess, I said. The birds ate the crumbs, right? The kids nodded. Of course, I said. They could live with me. Where else could, would they go? Hansel and Gretel and I got along beautifully. I taught them about food art. They helped me with chores and kept an eye on that horrid, horrible bird. Hansel was a natural artist. He made a wonderful sculpture of himself out of a sponge cake and fruit snacks. Sometimes I teased him by talking to it. Oh, Hansel, I want to gobble you up, I'd say. Life was sweet. I didn't even have to worry about Thorn anymore. One day, he just disappeared. But, you know, it was too good to be true. A bird like that never gives up. A few weeks later, the kids and I were baking pies. Suddenly... Thorn landed in the window box and began pecking away. Then a woman's voice called, Woohoo! Is anyone home? Hansel and Gretel turned as white as powdered sugar. Their wicked stepmother! Yes! The stepmother and Thorn were working together. They wanted the kids and me out of the pictures so they could eat my house. Well, that wasn't going to happen. I flung open the door. Now look here, I began. But the woman pushed past me. Darling children, you're alive, she exclaimed. Run for it, I told Hansel and Gretel. I grabbed the pie and I was about to throw it in the stepmother's face when she opened the oven door and shoved me in. I know this is a very scary part of the story. If you need to take a few deep breaths, go ahead. So there I was, hollering and pounding on the oven door. But when I realized something... The flames weren't burning me. In fact, they tickled. My dear old oven, my true and best friend, would never harm me. When the stepmother checked to see if I'd burned to a crisp, out I popped. Not a toaster hair on my head. She ran away, shrieking. Thorn flew close behind. They were never heard from again. Now life is even sweeter. 
Hansel and Gretel still live with me, so does their dad. A nice fellow, now that his wicked wife isn't around. With all these extra helping hands, I've been plans to expand. I guess house, a playroom, maybe a swimming pool. We'll have a party when it's all finished. You will most certainly be invited.